Hello and happy Saturday to all. Hope you're having a great day and hope you've had a great week. And we are here to continue the devotions for the week from Jason's message Sunday morning on Standing in the Gap. It was an awesome message. If you hadn't had a chance to listen to it, please go back and do that. Um, Jay did a great job uh, with, with, with what God had, had given him for this week. And um, I've enjoyed the devotions this week because it just continues to hammer home uh, the points that he made. So this morning, we're just going to take a few minutes to go over uh, something that came to mind as I was uh, looking back on my notes from the message Sunday morning. And uh, I've, I've entitled today's message or today's devotion, just the importance of a solid foundation. And it made me think about the scripture in Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27. But before I get into that, I want to uh, talk about the point Jason made. He said uh, in the beginning of his message on Sunday, he was talking about how the devil tries to get in our home. And the guys have talked about that already this week, so I'm not going to go into that. But one thing that he said was we need to build our families on the word of God. Right. And so that's that's what I'm getting at today when I entitled this the importance of a solid foundation. We need to make sure that we're building our families on something firm, not something that's just going to be temporary or is going to be uh, leading them down the wrong path. But we have to build our families on the word of God as a strong foundation. And so that's what made me think about this scripture today. And the scripture that I that I want to um, share with you is Matthew chapter 7, 24 through 27. Uh, it's an example that Jesus, is, Jesus uses, and it's a familiar scripture, but it says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these things, sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And again, he's saying, whoever does what I say, right? Whoever is listening to, to God's word and following God's plan, it's like he built him his, his house upon a rock. Verse 25 said, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And we think about the rain and the floods and the winds that blow representing the things that come against us, the things that, that Satan brings against us to try to tear us down, uh, the things that he puts in our way as a stumbling block, the obstacles in life that we face, the things that try to get us to stray away from God and to not follow God's plan for our lives, how we get through that and how we're able to continue to follow God's plan is that we are founded on his word. And it says that when those times come, the house didn't fall because it was founded upon a rock, a solid foundation, right? And so we need to be reminded today that God's word needs to be the foundation for everything that we do. Verse 26 said, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, in other words, if you don't listen, if you don't follow God's word and God's plan for your life, if you're not a child of God, here's what's going to happen. It says, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to the beach and you stand at the edge of the water and you can literally feel the ground being pulled out from under you. It's just like somebody pulling the rug out from under your feet. That tide starts to wash away and wash away. And maybe you're listening to this devotion at the beach on vacation this week. and Or maybe you've been to the beach already and you know what I'm talking about. Sand is not easy to walk in. Uh, you don't feel like you have a good firm uh, foundation, good footing. And that water very easily, that little bit of water, uh, makes you lose your balance and washes that sand right out from under your footing. So if you're building a house on the sand, you can imagine what happens. And this verse tells us right here, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew. Again, those hard times that life brings us, right, that, that, that Satan throws at us. Um, it beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. So in other words, when those, when those hard times came and when those temptations came and those challenges came and those obstacles came, it was very easy for that person to fall to be led astray, to be pulled away from God's plan, to be taken off into a path that they didn't want to go down. It was easy for that to happen because they had no foundation. So today, I just want to challenge you to make sure that you're, you're founded in the word of God, that you have Jesus Christ as your savior, and that you and your family uh, have a firm foundation built on the word of God. Jason had a quote that he said himself, and I've, I've got it here. I thought this was good said, bricks without mortar are just a good kick away from falling down. And how true is that? If you just, you stack up some bricks with nothing holding them together, 
man, you just give them a good swift kick and down they go. Um, so think about that in your life and your family. If you don't have that mortar, if you don't have that, that, um, that piece that holds everything together and makes it firm, then you, you don't have a good foundation. You don't have strength. You don't have unity and it'll be easily taken down. So make sure that we have um, God's word as our foundation, as our mortar, as the, the, the piece that holds our families and our lives together. So I uh, hope you got a little something out of that today. I uh, hope you have a great day with your family and friends this weekend. And I hope you'll join us in church uh, tomorrow at 11, either in person or online, as uh, Pastor TJ will be back from the mission trip. And so we're excited to hear what God has to send through him tomorrow. So hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon.